know. Other interesting business news, you have McDonald's killing the self-service soda machines at restaurants. Now, this is part of their long-term plan to address the ever exponentially decreasing profit margins on pretty much everything they do. McDonald's inherently from the get-go for many, I would say decades, they're not known for having a high profitable product. They're known by the volume business. So they make a little bit of profit per unit. So for every hamburger, every milkshake, well, I guess machines never work. So maybe that's not a big example. So for every bag of French fries that never decompose, hamburgers, sodas, they make a little bit of profit and they make up in volume. Very similar to Walmart, Sam's Club, what have you. Now, they originally actually used to really like this idea of putting the soda machines away from the cash register and have it be self-serve. And inherently they would give the, you know, free refill. And granted it's mostly carbonated water, you get a little bit of syrup in there, which kind of takes me back to my old concessions days when I used to actually connect the syrup, big boxes of syrup with the little connected to the soda machines. But things have gotten so tight these days, they actually have found that eventually it will be more economically viable to have an go back to the model where you have an employee filling it up and you get one fill up per canister of soda. I suppose they have small, medium, large. Yeah, yeah, they do. I'm thinking of Starbucks that has the, you know, can't pronounce, can't even think of the different sizing units. But with McDonald's, I'm, I'm guessing they'll get, eventually get to the point where they upsell you. So instead of having 99 cent soda, you can get unlimited refills for like three bucks. And they do the calculation saying, you know, what's the average number of refills people will go for, make sure they get a good ROI out of it. But this is a huge shift in McDonald's philosophy where for, and actually many businesses, they wanted this model where you have the customer do more work. We're similar to Walmart with a self-serve checkout, which still is a big value add in terms of, well, me, it's a hell of a lot faster, but they save a lot of money doing that as well. And the amount they lose in theft or slit shrinkage, as they say in the retail, is negligible compared to the overall savings. Now, in this instance, when asked for comment, they said, quote, McDonald's will eventually remove self-service checkout drink stations in its restaurants, though you have nine years to get that done. So this is a very long-term project. I would suspect it's when they're building new stores, they're gonna remodel it, or rather it would be the new redesign with the machine behind. And all these legacy stores, they'll slowly throughout the years, next refresh, they'll come up and they'll actually move the machines. You see this restaurants a lot, every couple of years they'll have a new facelift, they'll have a slightly shinier logo, a newer mascot, and they'll move around the store a little bit to give it a little nice ambiance, so you feel a little bit fresher. So if I were to guess, they're probably waiting for that next cycle. And when asked for comment, this McDonald's CEO, Chris Kamperstein said, quote, our company operated margin performance for the first half of 2023 is in line with our expectations and remains hampered by continued cost pre pressures. And continued to say, quote, as we look at the remainder of the year, we expect macro headwinds will continue, unquote. So it'll be interesting to see all these companies that are traditionally value add as in, you know, lower price point, as in, again, 40 year hyperinflation thanks to the government. And it'll be interesting to see how much can they increase prices before the consumer says, well, shoot, now when I go to McDonald's, it's, you know, 20 bucks for a family meal. Where back in the day, it used to be, what, five bucks? I, someone, I, again, I don't shop there, I don't really know in terms of the face to face interactions, but someone actually told me there's no longer a dollar menu. It's been replaced by like a, a multi dollar menu, which, from a marketing perspective sounds terrible i would never recommend but again it's the ever the ever growing threat of inflation unfortunately keeps hurting everyone so it'll be interesting to see let me know would you does this change your perception of mcdonald's or do you prefer to actually just have the employee do it for you to fill up the soda or you do you think they'll fill it up with mostly ice which is not a conspiracy well or is it time shall tell Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of September, so if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, taking the time to like and comment greatly help out the video with the algorithm. Feedback is always appreciated. Love hearing about your experiences, how you can make the show better together. Also, and lastly, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.